Hi there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. As always, thanks for checking out our videos. We do appreciate it. You might remember a Costco video. I think it was our last one that we did. We went over some stuff that was going to go on sale uh, starting on the 5th at uh, Costco. Well, today we're going to go buy some of the stuff that we looked at because we didn't want to buy it last time because it wasn't on sale yet. So we're going to head into Costco to uh, to actually buy some of the stuff that was on sale that we had looked at. So uh, hang tight for that. We'll be doing that here in just a second. As always, we appreciate you watching our videos. If you've not yet hit the subscribe button, please do so below. Also the bell notification button below. That's the way you get notified when we put up future videos. Um, and we like to go into Costco earlier. Actually, we like to go into Costco and Sam's early to try and beat the crowds because right now we're still a little bit of, a little bit paranoid because of the whole COVID thing and the rate. What this did this go? Honey, careful. I don't know what that guy was doing. Just trying to figure out, excuse me, <laughs> you got a left turn signal or right turn signal and you might want to turn right. Um, so we like to go into Costco and Sam's Club early because of the whole COVID thing and we don't like to be around a lot of people if we can help it. And the last time we were into Sam's, actually the last couple, three times we were into Sam's, they were a little bit uh, not complying with social distancing uh, and even masks for that part. So um, Costco's normally been a little bit better at that. So we'll find out if that's the case today or not. So we're gonna head on into Costco. Let's get parked and uh, we're gonna go in and buy stuff today. So uh, uh, let's check it out. You know, I said that we we're gonna look for stuff that we'd already checked out before as we were coming in and just buying stuff, not really looking for sale items. But I saw this walking in. Uh, instant savings on these uh, weatherproof men's puffer jackets. Uh, $10 off, you get these for 19 Let me pull one out, honey. Let me pull one out and show you what it looks like here. It's, uh, it's actually a really, really warm jacket for 20 bucks. I will say that as uh, we were coming into uh, Costco and leaving our neighborhood, we saw some of our neighbors putting up their Christmas decorations already. I mean, it's just the first week in November and they're already putting up Christmas decorations. My theory is always to wait till Thanksgiving. We put the Christmas tree up on Thanksgiving. So that's, that's my theory anyway. You guys can do what you want. They're still the social distancing signs here. And as I say, they kind of enforce it here at Sam's Club for the most part. Uh, they, they, they do mention a lot of times that, uh, that they want you to social distance. So what are we looking for, hon? You've got a whole list of stuff you're looking for. My baking stuff. Okay, let's go back to the baking aisle and get your stuff before I forget. Yeah, you seem to be distracted right now. Well, I see instant savings and I can't stop myself. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, these are the baking sheets right. you wanted, right? Yep. Yep. We talked about these last weekend. Our baking is uh, our baking sheets are toast, warm. trashed, rusted, crap. <laughs> we need to throw them away. This is a nice little setup. You, you get a package of three of these. You get a small one, and then you get two bigger ones. So uh, we do need these. So you get four dollars off. Normally uh, twenty-two bucks. You get them for eighteen bucks. We just need one, right? Yes. And we talked about these bowls. Oh, these bowls are cool bowls, too. I, I showed you these last week, in our last video, I should say. They've got the uh, non-skid bottom. You notice how in, on some of the aluminum bowls, if you're trying to mix, they slide around as you're trying to mix them. These don't. They've got a non-skid bottom. So when you're mixing, if they stay where they're supposed to be. $4 off right now. $16 instead of $20. Do we need these? Yes. Okay. I wanted to make sure we, we got them before they ran out, because that's a really good price on that. Um, and we did talk about this a couple of times, these thermometers. They've got instant savings on them. Now, we actually brought ours back. We bought it and brought it back because our friends in Florida actually gave us a present of one. But we, So we brought it back. But that's still a good price. $16.99 for the thermometers. You get two oven thermometers and then you get an instant thermometer. For example, if you're cooking like a chicken or something, you want to find out the temperature is or if you're doing steaks on the grill, you've got that. Um, but that's a really good price on that. So if you uh, need thermometers, check that out. Peg wanted an air fryer. She's always wanted an air fryer. And so I think we're going to have to get an air fryer.
This is a, a Gormia air fryer. Ten dollars off. Normally forty nine ninety nine. Get it for thirty nine ninety nine. She's wanted one forever and a day. So we are getting ourselves an air fryer. And again, this is all stuff we looked at in one of our previous videos. So it's stuff that we looked at and we we're just waiting for it to go on sale before we bought it because they're good prices. The wine opener. Oh, you want the electric wine opener. Well, uh, I have to access my Moscato really easily. Oh, that's true. So we got to go find the electric wine opener. Where did I find that? So we found the electric wine opener. It was on an end cap and uh, we would walk right by it like two or three times. It was normally $29.99. We got it for $19.99 or we should say we're getting it for $19.99. It's got an electric corkscrew, an aerator pourer, a uh, preserver and three stoppers, along with a foil cutter to cut the foil on the top of a wine bottle and also a charging base. So you get all that for 20 bucks. So Peg's wanted that. And you, that'll make you happy, won't it, honey? Yes, so I can access my Moscato. She wants her Moscato. And I will say we get our Moscato normally here. They've got a Moscato that she buys here um, that uh, it's seasonal. She likes it. But she also found a different kind of Moscato at uh, Kroger that, uh, that we bought. Yeah, we did. Um, that was my second choice of Moscato. There's two bottles of Moscatos I like. One is a Kroger. Um, I'll show you the, what a picture of it in the video here. I'll link. I'll show you a picture. And also, here is the other one, and we'll compare the bottle tops. Like I said, the bottle tops are tough yeah. to open. So I saw the men's coming in, honey. Here's the women's, the puffer jackets. Same deal, $29.99, $6 off, $23.99. Wasn't the men's cheaper? Yes, the men's was $19.99. The men's was $10 off. This is only $6 off. That's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. That's really not fair. You I wanna, know that? I want to go up and double check and make sure that I, that I read that right, because... Here it's uh, the puffer jackets are $6 off up front. I think I remember it was $10 off. So I want to check that. Well, they are different brands. So yeah, these are Nauticas. So these are the puffer, the Nauticas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have one grandchild and another one on the way. And this is a great price for sleepers, blanket sleepers. Normally $14.99, $4 off, $10.99. Are we going to get these? We're getting one, but we need the boy set. So we do apologize. That is a llama. We I, didn't say it was a llama. I thought it, I did, wasn't sure what it was. It was a llama. But this is a llama. What size am I getting? But it doesn't look like there's boys. This yeah, is more girls. I don't see any boys. Um, that's a unicorn. This is all girl stuff. Yeah, they don't have any boys. Is it down here? Is this boys? Yeah, these are them. Yeah. Okay. So that would be cute. What size are we getting? See, look at the pictures. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, these are them. What size are we getting? Yeah, well, what sizes are there? There's nine months. I think that's the only. There's a 12 month. Well, he's going to be born January. Month. So, if you want to go warm, we're going to have to get at least a 12 month one. Yeah. Yep. Try the 12 month so one. There's right a there. 12 month right there. Okay. We'll do the 12 month. Okay. How's that? Yeah, and we did. We do know that it's a little baby boy. They're not telling us the name. We actually have one of these. It's a different brand, but we have one of these, the uh, car jumpers. It's a great thing to have in your car if, for some reason, you get a dead battery. It's portable. Make sure it's charged up. You know, and it holds the charge. But fifty bucks for this, ten dollars off too. By the way, it'll jump your car. Um, if that's all you need is a quick jump. These are great to have in your trunk. Make sure it's charged up, but uh, great to have in your trunk. Oh, as winter is coming up, please do check your battery. Battery is the first thing to go in the winter months. As we know, for example, perfect uh, happened to us two twice with our kids' cars because they didn't check batteries. They also have a snowblower right next to it, but I don't need a snowblower. I'm not going to pay 750 bucks for a snowblower. But it's a dual stage, 24 inch. No, I'll pass. Mine's battery operated. It works. Mine has a lithium battery and runs, and it runs fine. And I'll tell you where we live, I'd probably use that once a winter. Last year you used our snowblower twice. Ours is a smaller snowblower. I don't need a big snowblower to, 
take care of 12 inches of snow because we rarely get 12 inches of snow here. Broccoli cheddar right there is $2 off. Yeah, that one. Did you want to get that? Mm -hmm. How many am I getting? One. The kids love uh, the kids love broccoli cheddar soup. Check, check the dates on that. Is there a date on that? I don't know. I can't. I don't have the right glasses on. So hang on. I don't see it. I don't. Oh, there it is. One four. Whatever. What does that mean? One fifteen. I think it's one fifteen twenty one. Okay, so it's good to one fifteen. Yep. So we're just getting one, right? Creme brulee. They have creme brulee. No. Not yet. They have creme brulee. I will torch it. That's what I'm looking you for. Have to torch it. Does that, does that have decoration? What's it? Yeah, what's... you have to torch it. Oh, okay. You have to put a flame on it. Oh, that's a little dangerous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love. That's one of my favorite desserts. Is creme brulee. I love creme brulee. So we're looking, I want to look, well, we're, while we're right here, I want to see something. And they do not have lower salt baking yet, but they do have bacon. And we did get bacon last time we were here, so I don't need any more. They do have a good lower salt bacon. They just haven't had it since the pandemic started. We haven't done ham. Do you want to buy the ham? Uh, da, 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 da. Did we go? Th didn't, didn't we didn't go through it last time though, did we? No. All right, so let's pass. I mentioned in one of our other videos that there's a possibility of uh, shortages again of toilet paper and paper towels. So, and we do need to get water while we're back here too, by the way. But uh, Costco seems to have more than enough here, at least for right now. But we are going to stock up. So I want to get one of these, and then we'll get a Charmin too on the other end. I know there that are instituting limits. Yeah, I was going to say uh, Sam's Club had put a limit back on of one, and Costco's doing the same thing, limit one. So we need to get water. Uh, they have not put a limit yet on water. So let me grab a couple of these. I'll put them underneath. to get the uh, Charmin. So, last time we were here, they had um, different kind of wipes. They do have the big Germex hand sanitizer gallon jugs, but now they've got these things. Um, they're called snaps, I guess. So it's basically. Oh, you gotta make your own. Yeah. It says it's stronger than paper. They're in, the, yeah. What is that, 1099? Safe for cleaning with, uh, let's see. I'm just trying to read and see what, if it's as good as regular. But you have to make your own. I think we talked about this last time we were here. Um, Six dollars off. Yeah, because that started uh, the 28th. Six dollars off your big thing of Tide Pods. Um, so you get that for $23.99. Uh, it says the pods here. I don't see anything other on the other Tide. No, quite a bit their Tide is on sale. The difference between Costco's savings this month and Sam's is that Costco, you only need to buy one. Sam's, you have to buy two items. Okay. Well, I just remember the P&G sale that Costco had that uh, we kind of uh, double dipped on and because they let you do it twice. You get a, the, what was it, a $25 Costco gift card if you buy $100 in P&G stuff and, we, and, they were, and they let you do it twice. That was actually cool. Bounce is still on sale too. That went on sale a couple of weeks ago. 
and we don't need it. So, so what else did we need? Uh, crescent rolls. Crescent. Oh, I love crescent rolls. You can take crescent rolls and get the mini hot dogs, the Smokies, and make yourself your own little pigs in a blanket. I might have to. I might have to do that. I'm the only one in my house that likes little Smokies. I wouldn't allowed to say that. I don't. I want to be politically correct. <laughs> what? Pigs in a blanket. Are we allowed to say that? Yes. Yeah. See, there's your little Smokies. We're not getting any more chocolate. Yes, we are. What? It's on our list. Okay. Not here. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Where did we find crescent rolls? Oh, this is what I was talking about right here. Oh. Cuisine Adventures, right there. Spanakopita. This is what you wanted? Spinach and feta phyllo triangles. Yeah. Fine. You want it? Oh, there's a French onion soup. I didn't want Do you want this or not? I do. Okay. You can have it. I don't like spinach. Let me rephrase that. I detest spinach. Well, honey, you may need some for those muscles. I of yours. don't like spinach. Okay, this is the French onion soup we were looking for. Uh, Two seventy off, so normally nine eighty nine. You get it for seven nineteen. My kids love French onion soup, so we're gonna get treat them and get them some French onion soup. The last thing is sea salt caramel. Sea salt caramel. I will say that this whole shopping trip is just about stuff that we looked at a couple of videos ago that we said we wanted, but we were going to wait till it went on sale, so that's why we're getting it. It's on sale now. Except for a couple of things I found as we're walking through. Sea salt caramel will be down with the... Uh... There they are. Yeah. Oh, I see them. Yep, I can see them right now. Okay. There you go, your sea salt caramel. Well, there's dark chocolate caramel. There's dark chocolate coconut. So is this what you wanted? Three dollars off. I thought they had um, milk chocolate too. Uh, I don't see milk chocolate. It's all dark chocolate. No, this is all dark chocolate. You have a problem with dark chocolate? This is actually good. I can eat this. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I think we got pretty much everything we wanted. So you think that's enough? The cart's full. Can't wait to see what we saved. So we're wrapping things up here at Costco. One of the things that we forgot, Peg, was our crescent rolls. We were so excited to find that spinach of yours and the French onion soup. We forgot all about the crescent rolls, so we didn't get our crescent rolls. We'll get it next time. All right. Well, because it's on sale all month, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, we did manage to save $43.70, though, with all the stuff that's on sale. We got everything that we looked at last time we were here that we wanted, except for crescent rolls. Uh, and there's still more stuff on there uh, for sale as well. We did look at the jackets. I'm going to look back and make sure that I was right. $10 off the men's, $6 off the women's, uh, the jackets there. I want to make sure that's right. Uh, and then I didn't misspoke, so we're going to look back on the video and check that out. But we got everything we needed at Sam's, so, and I think we're going to be all set for a little while. There is more savings coming up. There's another week of savings coming up a little bit later this month, right, Pun? Yes, it is. Uh, it is on uh, the next one. It's going to be November 20th through the 30th, and then the online savings the 26th, and then the online 27th through the 30th. We'll do that video next week, so that'll be coming up. So that's something, uh, something for you to look forward to. So uh, as always, thanks for watching our videos. We do appreciate it. If you've not hit the subscribe button below, please do so. Also the bell notification button below. And we'd love for you to hit that like button too, if you would, please. Thanks for watching.